It all started when Jeff Clem was just a teenager. At 14 years old, he started his first band, and by the time he was 20, his band released an EP. A moment followed by years of traveling and touring. I think that uh, music is a language and so many people uh, might not know how to speak it, but they can hear it and connect with it, which I think is just so wonderful. These days, Clem continues to perform in a band, work on solo projects, and run his own business called Mr. Jeff, where he focuses on teaching music to children. A C major scale here, okay, and we're gonna use all five of our fingers. But for many business owners like Clem, tax laws are changing and will soon impact a common tool used for transactions. It's just, it's really the convenience of being able to uh, just pop on your phone and pay somebody for something. By 2023, people using third-party settlement organizations like PayPal or Venmo will receive a 1099K form to make sure their digital transactions on these apps are taxed appropriately. This is due to a new tax reporting requirement that is part of the American Rescue Plan Act and was signed into law in 2021. Now anything over $600 is getting taxed um, and some people who were sort of trying to dodge the tax are now not being able to do that. While this is new, Clem says he's not worried. I called my tax advisor just to ensure that, you know, accepting payments via this was legal and everything was fine. And she said, oh yeah, you claim it. As long as you're keeping good records, then everything's good. So as long as you keep the good records of, of everything you're doing, just like any small business should, then you're good. For Spectrum News, I'm Vivica Grayson.